Praxis and I'm in the greenhouse right now and I'm working on a wall kind of covering that's going to cover up this otherwise really beautiful surface, don't get me wrong, but uh, you know we're going to try for something different. Uh, by the way, uh, the reason this is black, uh, from way back, if you've been watching the series from the beginning, um, I was painting this black because I thought I was going to kind of terrace this, and this isn't just paint, it's uh, a tar, and uh, we thought there was going to be like dirt all the way up here. I ended up thinking that was a terrible idea, brought the dirt level down to there, and now uh, you know, I want to cover the whole thing up, and the wall behind me as well. Uh, what we're going to be... Uh, <clears throat> Putting on the walls a bunch of horizontal boards, uh, you know, one by four inch boards going across the whole surface, uh, and they're going to be screwed into these vertical boards. Uh, I've got a couple of these uh, ready to go up right here. We're going to do one uh, one foot in from the side, another one four feet in from the sides, and then a mirror image on the other side. And these are going to be underneath, uh, holding them all on there. I've got a little uh, hook at the top so that I can kind of temporarily get this in place. And the idea is I want to get this thing uh, concrete anchor bolted into the wall. I've got uh, four for this wall, three for this wall over here because this wall is a little bit shorter. Uh, and we'll see how far I can get through the process before this uh, camera times out as it usually does. First step, uh, I made the marks where these are going to go. Uh, next, you know, we've got it stuck up there. I want to make sure it's nice and plumb. So I'm going to use the level to get it, oh, get it nice and plumb. It's all dusty. How does that look? Structurally, it doesn't matter for it to be perfect. It's just sort of a visual thing. Okay, there we go. All right, so that is looking pretty good right there, holding it in place. And, you know, in case I bump it, I'm going to put a line right down here, mostly at the bottom, so I can uh, make sure I can find my mark again. Okay, so that's all set. Alright, uh, next up is I've got uh, three holes pre-drilled here. One, two, three at the bottom using the concrete drill and I'm just going to make some marks with it right now. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go deeper in a sec but for now I just want to mark it. Okay, this is where I'm going to make sure I'm still in my line here, because right, it gets bumped around by the drill. All right, that's a mosquito in here. Already so much wildlife. All right, so I've got the holes started right here. You know, I can't really see that one. I might, I might want to redo that one, but I can see this one here. If I was going to do a ton of this, I'd wear a respirator. I probably should do that. Now, anyway. All right, you want to go plenty deep for these and really clear it out, otherwise the Tapcon screws are a little hard to drive in there. Get this guy. Aside from the aesthetics of uh, this looking nicer, I'm going to redo this one. Aside from the aesthetics, uh, this is going to serve a functional purpose. You can see the beans down here. It's going to be a vining, like kind of climbing surface for the plants. So it serves that function as well. There we go. I got a real hole there now. Yeah, it's just like pieces chipping out of there. All right, here we go. Just want to make sure you get all that dust and debris out of there, otherwise it packs up. All right, uh, next up is to uh, get it up there. Uh, I've got these little spacers, these are pressure treated spacers. I'm just going to put them in there just so we don't have this unpressure treated wood in direct contact with the wall, which could, you know, cause rod issues and termite issues and stuff. Let's see, where am I going to start? Uh, maybe I'll start in the middle. I should probably kind of pre-get these guys going through there. Because it could be easier to line it up uh, from here. I'm not sure whether this camera's still rolling. This camera's been really buggy lately. If it is, we're lucky. Alright, there we go. So that is started there. 